Arizona, it's me, d up again, and we're back here with Satisfactory, and we're over by my rubber and plastic making place, and I wanted to get started on the power system, which I went ahead and started trying to lay out some of this, but it's going to be so big that, like, I'm losing my mind trying to do all the calculations and stuff in my head but this is just an eighth of like the rubber and plastic so the residue will come up or turn into or oil will come up it turn into rubber and plastic and then the heavy residue oil will come out and I plan on running them in a uh, little tube down here to get rid of it and then I pre made the whole upper section here so all this up here where these little holes are is where uh refineries are going to be attached to them so there's a lot of them this is just an eighth of my whole setup I'm gonna have four 600 pipes of oil coming up and then down here is like all the generators that I finally got uh, made up and this is 25 fuel generators which is also an eighth of the whole setup and then I had to do a little messing around down here because there was a little mushroom whatever these things are over here so I had to move the last two over here to make them fit and then I'll be able to add 25 more on the other side of this pipe but basically after it goes from up top it's gonna go all the way down to down here where I'm going to have these package water and then I'm gonna use packaged water and oh there's another one Uh, I think it's a generator I need here. Wait, what? What's going on? What's your recipe? So I'm supposed to be packaging water, and I'm combining water with. heavy residue to make uh, fuel. I think that might be at a refinery though. But basically the oil is going to come down here get put in with some packaged water get I think it's doubled so then I'm getting double the fuel back that I normally would and then I'm going to be sending it up through those holes right there to connect to the fuel generators. But in order to do that, I'm going to tear down all this that I have put up over here. One, because I'm going to need the resources from that eventually to work on this. And two, I need, uh, I want to make the pipes look decent coming over to my whole setup and I don't want to have to have like pipes running all different directions and also I think I'm gonna I might end up tearing that one down because it's a uh, impure and I won't be using it 
But let me go ahead and go and take out all those uh, refineries and stuff I put up over here. And I'll get started on getting all these pipes ready. So I managed to get the pipes ran all the way up here. And I'm just going to start with uh, the first one. I'm probably going to have to end up adding some uh, pumps to this. But I wanted to go ahead and get this started. So I can get it all sorted out. Alright, so. This is only going to be an eighth, so... Basically, this is going to want to uh, probably should have did something like this. That way I can bring this over, put a key in here. Then I can run a 300 pipe this way. Pipe is too long. Okay. Put a support in the middle. Run one 300 pipe this way which will be enough to sustain these machines. And then I'll be doing the same thing on the other side over here. So eventually there will be another set of, or another pipe over here running to this but for now i'm not even having my uh oil thing boosted right now so there's no point in doing that so i need to add a t here for every single one of these refineries Oh, and I'm pretty sure that it was a refinery that I'm going to have to put down there. Yeah. Alter, it turns heavy residue oil and packaged water into uh, pack, packaged fuel. Oh, yeah. Polluted. Basically, it'll double my heavy oil to uh, fuel. Whereas if I did it normally, I'd be getting two-thirds of fuel versus heavy now I will be getting twice as much uh, fuel from heavy oil in case uh, any of you were wondering what I was talking about earlier when I couldn't find the recipe basically all these machines need for inputs is a pipe for the oil so setting this side up is easy setting the other side up is going to be a little bit more of a trick but i'm going to have to also make sure i put pumps on that uh tower but luckily i have uh the ring two pumps now so it shouldn't be too bad And then I need to do the math on this. So this would be 50 on this side and 100 on that side. 150. All right, so I could use just normal uh, rank ones down these. I was trying to figure out how I was going to go about doing this. 
Did I get a clue? No. Right, so this is getting ran like on the ground. This pipe must not do pipe support. Ah, so I gotta build some supports. It looks up. Man, a chainsaw. I don't even know why I got it on me. I need to make some regular pipe supports now. Actually, I just remembered. I got these new fancy ones. I can put it the height I want. So let's just go ahead and set these guys up. To be like midway in the tunnel. I don't like the fact that there's that. Uh, go ahead and close that off. And then I need to go back to here and add that. And then this can be just a normal 300 pipe. Because even on the rubber line, it's only going to be uh, 200 fuel in it or 200 heavy so when it gets to this point I can add in uh, add them together and make or turn them into I think two 600s for all of it to be 100 200 400 400 for this section Hey okay. One No One Two That's 300 per section Basically, I'm going to have two 600s running out and down. So basically, everything on this side is going to be a 600 pipe of heavy. Everything on that side is going to be a 600 pipe of heavy. And then I'll go down, get doubled, and then get brung up to the generators. And then this is... Like all these are 600 pipes. The 600 is going to come in. Come over here. And then it gets. The bottom one is going to split. And. Actually I need to. Get rid of that. Yeah. Okay. Bottom one's going to split here. And 300 of it's going to go here. And the other 300 is going to go on the other side. And that will feed these machines perfectly. Where this whole front line is going to be making plastic. Back line is going to be making rubber. And in which case I'm going to be putting conveyors to run everything to the middle. Up here. And then I'm going to have rubber or plastic on one side, rubber on the other, and then run it back here. And I plan on putting my train station. I'm going to take out this turn. And I'm just going to bring it straight down to here in case later on I need any other resources from over here. I should have plenty of room to add onto the station because where I was going to put it, I noticed I wasn't going to have enough room to really do anything because the train stations were bigger than I thought. 
But basically, let's go ahead and start hooking all this up. So, uh, I need to get back to normal stuff. Let's go ahead and do... Uh, one. Alright, so I need a merger. I want to hook those like that. I just... Basically, I'm kind of doing the same thing I did before. Oh. Oh, I'm out of... Out of resources. I'm gonna have to end up getting more resources. Not sure how I managed to run out of stuff, but I did. But then the plastic will be coming out, going out here, and then my lines are going to be over here for them. And what I plan on doing is running conveyor poles like this, one here and one here. And then when I get to the lane, like this is rubber. I'm going to have these like back here and up here. And then I'm going to put a merger down here on the ground and then have it dip down. So the stuff can flow into here that needs to, and then I'll go back up into the air. So it's out of the way. But that's my plan so far but unfortunately oh yeah i also went like all the way back to my base i've basically turned off just about everything at my regular base right now to basically be prepared for this whole setup like right now I'm only drawing 500 which most of that's probably like miners going right now oh and my generators but let's go ahead and I'm thinking about this because I don't think that This is going to take like from running to there to over here. I shouldn't need a pump. Should only need pumps down here. Once they try to start running up. Yeah. It's like I think it almost makes it all the way up. But if I'm to just stick I'm probably just going to do. I'm just going to stick four of these here. And get them out of the way. And that should be enough to flow all this all the way up once I connect it to power. So now if I go back to I think one.
And here's the fun part. Because I need four lines. So I'm going to use my nifty new tools so I don't have to have like 15 things running in here. And then I should be able to hook this up. Actually, for now, I think I might do this. I might disconnect it from that pole over there. Connect it to that one. There we go. And yeah, it's flowing all the way up now. So it should work for all of them. At pre added pumps and um of the valves over here. So like I got two pumps down there, a pump there, and two valves here. That way this won't push fluids that way, and then that won't pu push fluids down. This just makes sure it's all going that way. Which I mean the pumps basically do that too, I guess, but I know I had to come up to here because this levels basically I brung all three of these pumps up a little bit and then brung it over here to make it look nice and then I gotta run them all up anyway, so I'm more than likely gonna have to use some more pumps. So I just went ahead and knocked that all out. But, I'll probably call it here for this video. It's a start to my whole thing. But this little project's gonna take quite a bit of time, it seems. And like, I've worked on it for a couple hours trying to like work out all the math and stuff in my head. And getting like the platforms and everything kind of ready. And I decided I would start recording because basically I'd probably end up just doing it all by myself and not showing you guys anything that was going on because I wasn't paying attention if I wasn't careful. I just figured, hey, I'll record part of it, put it up. But I'll probably end up coming back and working on these conveyors and getting this eighth of the first part done. And then I'll have to run the exit pipe, get that all set to run down. Cause that got to go all the way down to the bottom. And then I got to set up some water pumps down there, make it packaged water. And then combine the packaged water with uh, the heavy fuel to make diluted. And then I need to refine the diluted water into fuel. But I should be able to use the canisters and like run them in a loop. And then run that oil back up to the fuel generators. And then hopefully I should be able to hook it up and have a nice little bump to my power. And then I just have to do that like seven more times. And then I should have power for basically the rest of the game, unless I go nuclear, which I probably will end up doing eventually, but for now, fuel generators it's out of the way in a biome or place that I probably won't come back to unless I'm exploring for uh, some slimes I haven't got or some hard drives but I'll see you guys in the next video and I hope you guys enjoyed